The presidential candidate of the All Progressives Congress APC and a former governor of Lagos State, Ashiwaju Bolatinubu, had accused B2B, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party and the former governor of Anambra State, of quoting wrong statistics and wrong arithmetic, which is not what Nigeria needs. Reacting to this statement by Bolatinubu, B2B released a statement as was seen in a viral video making waves on social media. In the video, Pitobi was seen as he said that he can't speak anything and that his figures now must be accurate and what people can verify easily. Quoting the original statement released by Pitobi, he said, I can't speak anything. My figures now must be accurate and what anybody can go and verify immediately. The Labour Party presidential candidate, Mr. Pito B, has reportedly rejected an award presented to him by a group, Boys Champions, saying they should present it to him when he won the election and finished his tenure as president. The former number of state governor said this in Enugu State on Friday, November 25, 2022, at a Shape the Future conference organized by the group. He said he will value the award if he performs well in office at the end of his tenure and Nigerians are happy with him. However, BC was founded by UN award-winning Nigerian Nural Anumona to support young boys and men in their journey to manhood through mentoring and training. Obi advised the youth not to vote for tribe or religion, stressing that no tribe or religion would buy bread or rice cheaper as it was in the country presently. Obi urged the youth to vote only for competent and credible leaders that would change their future come 2023 general elections. The former Nambra state governor said he would provide security for all Nigerians to enable farmers go back to their farms to reduce food inflation. Elia Alumona said he brought the conference to Enugu to spotlight the talent of the young people in Nigeria. He explained that it was time for Nigerian youth to commit to sustainable action that would change their future and reshape the way things were being done. Alumona beat over 400 contestants to be the first African to win the AFS Award for Young Global Citizens since its inception in 1914.